Do I know a lot about my health? Uh, no. I don't know if I'd want to. No, not currently. I don't no. think so, no. Uh, on my previous cell phone, yes, I've had a health app on there. It was an exercising app. I have not used one yet. Not really that interested in, you know, the health ones, I guess. I wish that everything they had access to, just for me, obviously not, but I had access to it, even on the same, like, platform as them, rather than just a quick print up with a few words. I wouldn't want my uh, health data to be shared in public. I think it's quite a personal thing. Biocomputing is really the study of analyzing multitudes of biological data and creating an insight from that data to be able to share with individuals about their health. At least that's our goal here at Patients Like Me. We have been an extraordinarily patient-centric organization and believe that patients understand their own health really better than anybody else does. My name is Garth Callahan. I'm a dad and an author. About seven years ago, I was diagnosed with cancer for my first time. In the time since, I've been diagnosed with cancer a total of four times. Data is really important to me. Almost all of my health information is digital. For about the past four years, I've been taking daily chemotherapy, and I've learned that tracking is important. I measure how I feel. I measure my weight, how much I eat, if I sleep well. So I'm measuring all of these things that hopefully improve the quality of my life. I have multiple doctors, so it would be great to have all of those doctor's offices aggregate data at the same time in the same place, and then add my own data so that I could track my own things. If you track the data, then it can have meaning. Data is absolutely essential and core to everything that we do. Historically, the kind of data has been called experiential or phenotypic, and what that means is patients will come to the platform and they will self-report information about their condition. What my role is and what my team's role is at Patients Like Me is to incorporate the molecular biology aspect to that now, what's happening on the inside, with the goal of giving us a very holistic and highly detailed picture of that person's health in the context of a population of thousands and thousands of other individuals. I've made my health data public because I feel that there's value in somebody else looking at it. But you can't share it unless you measure it, unless you are tracking it and putting purpose behind the data. My biggest hope is that we have more data than what we can even possibly imagine to do with. Our patients have been really quite extraordinary. They want to enable researchers to find the truth about their condition. They're really quite selfless. If it aids research, I, I would be okay sharing. I think it's yeah. worthy to have that information uh, accessible to everybody. When you aggregate it for the whole, I think that's good. We can learn a lot from that. Having information available to me would allow me to make better, more informed decisions about my health. I'm all for open sharing of any information that's going to be beneficial to anyone's health. Even if I'm not personally using it, you know, someone else could maybe use it to figure something out. It's about the data. You don't have to attribute it to a specific patient. Share the, the goddamn data. <laughs> There's actually a treatment that cures kidney cancer. It's been around for over 30 years. It only works 4% of the time. And in a similar percentage of the time, the patient dies. And in 90 to 92% of the cases, it does nothing. And so I was asking the doctor about the data. And I said, look, you know, what if I'm the 4%? How do we know? And he said, we just don't know. We don't track that data. And shame on us. Because if we did track that data, I might be in a different situation today. So that's why I track everything. <laughs>